The K218b star system consists of a rather small star and two exoplanets. The James Webb Telescope has now discovered signs of life on the exoplanet K218b. Since then, the world of science has been looking spellbound at this system, 120 light years away. What do the detected traces of water, methane, carbon dioxide, and a gas called DMS really reveal? What forms of life could exist in this rich water world? And is this the beginning of a series of discoveries that are very similar? James Webb finally provides the answers we've been looking for. It's official. Exoplanet K218b is rich in water, has an atmosphere, and in it, scientists have found evidence of three other biosignatures, methane, carbon dioxide, and traces of dimethyl sulfide or DMS for short. In plain language, this means that never before have we found an exoplanet that shows so many signs of life. K218b is a Hycian world. These are planets that are slightly larger than Earth and are predominantly covered by water. Their surfaces either consist of pure oceans or have a few land masses or continents in addition to large areas of water. Similar to Earth, Hycian worlds can be climatically favorable to life, but they do not have to be. Scientists have now discovered an astonishing number of these water worlds in the depths of the universe, and many of them are not life-friendly despite the water. There are boiling hot Hycian worlds and also planets in this category that we have to imagine as gigantic steam ovens. So, water does not necessarily mean life, but it is a basic prerequisite for biological life as we know it. In the case of K218b, we have a promising mixture. The planet is medium-sized with a surface that is presumably solid. In depth, Webb found traces of water, methane, carbon dioxide, and DMS in the atmosphere. This mixture is clear evidence of bacterial life on Earth. DMS, in particular, is mainly produced by decomposition processes in coastal and humid habitats. All four aspects together, and the remaining parameters of the planet, thus speak a truly tantalizing language. It is scientifically very likely that there is some form of life or biological processes on the exoplanet K218b. The star K218 and the exoplanets K218b and K218c. It sounds crazy that this star system is just 124 light years away from us. In cosmic terms, that's a stone's throw, and basically, for all the decades we've been looking for traces of life in space, we've had this rich watery world right under our noses but haven't seen it. The star K218 has been known to us since the Kepler mission, and the Kepler telescope also discovered the two exoplanets in the system. K218 is a relatively unspectacular red dwarf star, which is one of the most common stars in our galaxy. The mass and luminosity of these stars are in the lower range, and yet these systems are no less suitable for life than our own. In star systems like this, planets can orbit much closer to their star and still be in the habitable zone. The Kepler Space Telescope was designed to search for exoplanets by monitoring the brightness of stars and detecting periodic dimming. Exoplanets appear in front of their stars as tiny dots that would be barely visible to the naked eye. We need precision technology to detect such tiny trails and then learn more about them. Kepler discovered two exoplanets, K218c and K218b, but could only find out basic details about the two planets due to the limited capabilities at the time. Kepler was unable to detect traces of water or determine gases in the environment. The James Webb Space Telescope can now do this. What do we know since then? Although the sun seems rather dim in this star system, K218c is still too close to its star. Extreme conditions with very high surface temperatures and intense radiation probably prevail on this planet. The Hycian world K218b is located further away from its star and thus in the habitable zone, where temperatures could be mild enough to support liquid water. It is precisely because this planet is so interesting that researchers have recently taken another close look at it using the James Webb Space Telescope. The telescope's fine spectrometers can now provide detailed scans of the chemical signatures of exoplanets. In addition to water, we can now easily detect other gases and indications of an atmosphere. Scientists from NASA and the University of Washington are currently reviewing all the data obtained by Webb. Some of the best stationary telescopes on Earth are involved in these comparative studies. 
the scientists want to really make sure before they make any assumptions. To check the data once again, they construct various scenarios from all the known details. Complex models show different possibilities for the planet's atmosphere and the relationships between its photochemistry. These simulations take into account both animate and inanimate scenarios. One possibility is that K218b has a dense hydrogen atmosphere and possibly oceans, which is typical of the so-called Hycean planets. Researchers also hope that the simulations will provide further information on whether the observed methane quantities can be explained by geological processes or by biological activity. To be really sure, we need to be able to rule out the possibility that inanimate scenarios could also be responsible for this significant mixture of gases and biomarkers. If the models favoring biological life are confirmed statistically and computationally, we can say with a high probability that K218b is the first exoplanet with signs of life beyond our solar system. Once we have found a planet with these parameters, we can organize our search for life in space in such a way that we look in particular for planets that are similar to K218b. If we find more exoplanets with this analysis data or similar structures, we will have something like a schematic. With each new discovery, researchers know better what to look for and what the really promising star categories and planet types are. The star opposite, HD 189733b. Are you also dreaming of soft extraterrestrial water worlds now? Tropical, warm, blue planets, oceans as far as the eye can see, perhaps island-like continental masses where a few birds or strange alien creatures live in a kind of paradise. Then hold on tight because here comes the stark opposite of a cozy alien water world, HD 189733b. This exoplanet was discovered in 2005 and is located around 64.5 light years away from Earth in the constellation of Vulpecula. This exoplanet is therefore very close and is virtually one of our closest cosmic neighbors. However, this planet orbits its star, HD 189733, very closely and is significantly larger than our Earth or K218b. HD 189733 b belongs to a class of hot Jupiters. Hot Jupiters are gaseous giant planets that are extremely close to their parent star, making them the hottest and most extreme exoplanets. At a distance, the real appearance of HD 189733 b could be deceiving, as it has a blue hue caused by the scattering of light in its atmosphere similar to the mechanism that makes the sky on our Earth appear blue. Initial measurements have shown that this planet also has water, or at least moisture, in its atmosphere. But then, the similarities with lovely water worlds or our Earth come to an end. HD 189733b is an extreme example of an uninhabitable world. The proximity to its star leads to temperatures that reach well over 1000 degrees Celsius on the day's side of the planet. This makes HD 189733 be certainly unsuitable for any form of life as we know it. Webb's analysis clearly shows the presence of water in the form of water vapor. While the discovery of water in the atmosphere of an exoplanet would normally cause excitement about the possibility of life, the conditions on HD 189733 b are so extreme that this can be ruled out. The weather conditions on HD 189733b must be extraordinarily violent. It is believed that extreme winds occur on this planet that can reach speeds of up to 7,000 km per hour. These winds are strong enough to hurl particles and molecules around the planet. The planet is probably raining what we can best describe as molten glass. The high temperature and fierce winds whipped horizontally across the planet on the night side, heated particles and water particles cooled down and rained down as molten glass. HD 189733b is certainly not a candidate for the discovery of life, and yet it is a remarkable exoplanet and just one in a whole series of extreme worlds. Another bizarre world, Kepler 70b. So far, we have found almost more extreme planets in space than Earth-like or potentially habitable ones. If we look at our own solar system, we also have to admit that the inhospitable planets clearly predominate. Venus with its toxic atmosphere, hot Mercury, Jupiter and Saturn whose gravity would crush a human immediately, or even the extremely cold planets in the outer reaches of the solar system. Kepler 70b is another extreme world far away from our Earth. This planet, 
also known as KOI 55b, is located about 4,000 light-years from Earth in the constellation Cygnus. Kepler-70b is also remarkable because it orbits extremely close to its parent star. This exoplanet has an orbital period of only about 5.76 hours, which means that it is actually incredibly close to its star, so close that it practically moves along the surface of the star. Of course, this proximity is not without consequences. Kepler-70b is literally burning up in the vicinity of its star. The extremely high temperatures of the planet's surface are estimated to be over 6,800 degrees Celsius. This makes Kepler-70b hotter than many stars and completely unsuitable for any form of life as we know it. Kepler-70b is a so-called burnt planet. It is believed that this planet was originally a gas giant. That is now being consumed by its expanding parent star. Kepler-70b is on its way to blowing up into a red giant star and then eventually exploding as a supernova. What we recognize today as a planet is actually just a molten core of a former gas giant. This shows in an exciting way that gas planets may have solid cores and therefore surfaces after all. However, it is also conceivable that the solid material only formed through the transformation processes of extreme heat. Although this world actually represents a terrible scenario, Kepler-70b is a real treat for scientists. Never before have researchers been able to study so well what happens to planets whose parent star mutates into a supernova. It's a little scary to think that the same scenario will happen in our solar system at some point. However, our sun only has 4.5 billion years until it too will begin to slowly expand and swallow up its planets. Kepler-70b also has a neighboring planet, Kepler-70c which is also very close to the star and has an orbital period of about 8.52 hours. Presumably, the growing star literally attracts its planets and then slowly burns them up. Become a subscriber now and be part of every new video.